My name is Don Coyas, and I'm the president and founder of White Bison, which is located in Colorado Springs. Last week, the United States government announced that it made an apology to the Guatemala government for the atrocities that it committed against the people of Guatemala in the 40s and in the 50s. We think it is high time that the United States government makes an apology to the native people for its role in the support of the boarding schools, the residential schools, from 1879 clear up until the 60s. So we are launching a national effort that we really need everyone's help on. We really need hundreds and hundreds of us to get involved in this to follow this plan that we have to put the pressure on the White House and on Congress to make this apology happen. And I think it's a very key time now, right prior to the national elections, which will end up in November. On our White Bison website, www.whitebison.org, you'll see on the homepage on, a, on the right-hand side, you'll see a series of menu items that will give very detailed instructions on how the type of support that we needed you could help. On there you will see the general strategy. You will see that there is examples of the Canadian apology, the Australian apology, which was made to the First Nations people and the Aboriginal people. On there you will see there's a form letter that you can cut and paste and send to Congress. There is a way on there that you can click on there and it'll tell you what state whatever state that you're in, it'll tell you how to get this letter requesting the Congress to help support this effort of the boarding school initiative. In December 2009, there was a bill about an apology that was attached to the Defense Appropriations Bill. Not many people know about it, but this bill is about the apology and it's actually a law. So we're not asking only that this law be implemented that President Obama signed in December of 2009. On there also you will see a, a letter that you can send to the White House making the request for the apology. Then we need some people to help us that are close to the tribes to get as many of our tribes to pass resolutions of support for an apology from the United States government and either have them sent to the White House or send them to White Bison and we will get those apologies to the White House or to the email that will be delivered to, um, to President Obama. In addition, there's a petition on there. We have well over 6,000 signatures on the petition so far and if you can use the Facebook social networking Twitter, whatever means you have to get, we want to get thousands of people to sign that letter of support or the petition that's on the website. The elders gave us four instructions when we made the journey of forgiveness last year to, to 25 of the boarding schools. We traveled 7,000 miles and we gathered the stories and, and we're making a documentary of which on the website, you'll also see about a 15-minute video clip of our learnings from that journey. So what we are asking is for hundreds and hundreds of us to come together that we can, at the grassroots level, exert a voice strong enough through Congress, through our tribal councils, through direct letters to the White House, getting thousands of signatures on a petition that we can make this request to President Obama. Somehow I feel if we can get the message to President Obama how strongly this apology is needed, I just feel it in my heart that he will go ahead and that he will, he will do that. The teachings that the elders gave us for this, the Four Directions teachings, was to recognize, acknowledge, forgive, and change to recognize what this trauma is and the 
sad effects that the boarding school still has on our communities in terms of the suicide, the violence, all those social issues that we have can be traced right directly back to what happened to those kids who attended the boarding school. Now we are handing down generation to generation this effect. One thing is very, very important in a healing is once we recognize it is to have somebody acknowledge that what we are asking here and we want somebody to admit that this did happen. It's not in the history books, it's not told anywhere, but the same effects that Canada had on the First Nations people, the Australian government, what they had on the Aboriginal people, that effect will be on us. That apology will accelerate the healing. Recognize, acknowledge, forgive, and change. If you can use your social networks, your Facebooks, your emails, if you can talk it up with your friends, we need to take our voice back. This apology will do so much for the healing of our, of our people and it will allow us to go on to the next stages of forgiveness and for us to change. So I really appreciate if you could help us all by making a national effort to the strategy that we've laid out. It's on the website. If there are any questions, it tells you the phone numbers uh, to call us up on. Um, we will have a Twitter account for those that want to follow you know, in that mechanism to keep up with what happens daily. Once again, it seems like I'm always thanking everyone for all the help that they've done in this Well Variety movement. This is your movement and it's time for this apology to happen. And I strongly believe at the grassroots level, we have the power to get our voice back and to make this happen. Thank you very much.